Okay, so once again, we have a trigonometric equation equal to a constant where the input of that trigonometric equation is an uh, expression, and the, the next step is simply finding the reference angle. Um, as you can see here, the question says solve the trigonometric equation for that interval. So uh, that means that our um, um, solution won't be a general solution, but rather specific solutions. So we find the general solution, and then we find the specific solutions that will work. To find our reference angle um, is not very difficult. We don't even need a calculator, because we have square root of 3 over 1, which is y over x, since we're working with tan, which means my opposite is square root 3, my adjacent is 1, my hypotenuse would then be 2, and that is the 60 degree special angle. 60 degrees is my reference angle, it's a first quadrant angle, and this is positive, uh, tan is positive in the third qu uh, first quadrant, and therefore uh, this is a valid reference angle. You could use a third uh, third quadrant angle as well as a reference angle so you could use 240 that would also be fine okay however why not just use the simplest one so from here it's very simple to get our general solution we take our input 2x plus 72 is equal to my reference angle which is 60 degrees and for 10 we use 100 and 80 degrees times k and this is our only solution we don't have another general solution because the two quadrants, first and third quadrant for tan is already included when we jump in um, jumps of 180. So uh, next up would be to subtract 72 on both sides. So what we're trying to do now is solve for x. So we get 2x is equal to 72. That gives me negative 12 degrees plus 180 degrees times k. Uh, next up, we are dividing with 2 to get x on its own. Everything gets divided with 2, so that I now have x is equal to negative 6 plus 180 degrees. Sorry, not 180 degrees. 90 degrees. 180 divided by 2 times k, and this k is an element of integers. Now, since we have our formula for all our solutions, we need to go and find values for k so that my interval um, or my solution falls inside my intervals. In other words, I'm going to start with k 0, 1, 2, etc., and then negative 1, negative 2, etc. Let's start with 0. In other words, that means I'm adding 90, none. Okay, not at all. So then I just have negative 6 degrees. And negative 6. So our interval is between negative 135 and 65. Negative 6 degrees is greater than 135, negative 135, and smaller than 65, so that it forms part of the solution. So one of the loose solutions would be negative 6 and, uh, degrees. Another solution, let's see if we add, make k equal to 1, that means we're adding 90 once. And that gives me negative uh, 90 minus 6 gives me 72. S uh, sorry, not 70. Uh, 84, I mean 84. 84 is too big. Okay, our biggest is 65. So 84 won't work. How about going in the negative direction? Let's subtract 90 once. Negative 6 minus 90 gives me negative 96. Ne negative 96 is larger than negative 135 and smaller than 65. So negative 96 degrees is another solution. However, if I subtract another 90, in other words, now k is 2, negative 2, I subtract another 90, I get negative 186. And that, we can see, is smaller than negative 135, so that won't fall in my interval, and therefore I know that there's nothing smaller, no, nothing greater, and those are my two solutions.